All right, so this is a direct compare and contrast of the races through eight races in the F1 seasons from last year to this year. Now, the only difference is there were two sprints this year in the first eight versus one last year. Max is still in first, but there's a lot of difference in this. Okay, in terms of the total points, the fact that Max has less points and there was a sprint in 24, I mean, it, it's, the field is a lot closer and it's not nearly as spread out. Because last time, the spread between, you know, Max and Checo was still, that'd be 69 points. Between the two of them, and right now, it's only 29. So, I mean, it's definitely, or no, 30, 32, I'm 31, I'm sorry. Um, either way, it's still a lot closer in terms of, like, all the gaps everywhere. Now, obviously, you can see where people have changed. Like, you don't have Lewis in fourth. Lewis is in eighth. Um, he's doing considerably, like, not as well as he did last year. It's just cool to see. Like, McLaren wasn't even up there towards the beginning of the season. You had the Alpines up there. Um, this year, Yuki's still there, and it's really going to be a closer race. I feel like the battle for, really, one through five could be contested. Obviously, Max will probably win it, but they might get, like, Lando and Charles up there, too. But, but the battle between Carlos and Checo could be really close, and Oscar, too. So that four, five, six could be really close. Um, I'm assuming George or Lewis is going to get seven. Um, and then it might be close between the second one um, with Fernando, depending on. But, I mean, they've been really, really bad as of recently, so we'll have to see. But let me know your predictions going on to the rest of the season. Um, but, yeah, that's just cool to, like, compare and contrast. Like, Ferrari's doing considerably better than they were last year. They've pretty much doubled their amount of points that they had at this time, essentially. Yeah, they pretty much have evenly doubled them, um, which is cool. Uh, so we're going to have to see what happens. But let me know your guys' predictions um, for Canada next weekend.